What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. A lot of you have been waiting for this moment for quite some time. So we're about to pull the wrecked S60R in. What I'm doing with this is this is a parts car. It has a good engine, lower mileage than my wagon, and it has a six speed manual transmission. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna six speed manual swap my V70R, but I'm also gonna go through this engine, put new seals in the oil pan, do a new timing belt, water pump, idlers, all that stuff. So I know this thing is gonna be 100% good to go for the future in the V70R, so I don't have to worry about it. Just like my previous Volvo I did before, and I never had any issues with that. So, this thing was hit extremely hard. Actually, it wasn't hit. One of, uh, I found the guy's Instagram a long time ago, but I guess he pretty much hit some black ice, slid it in a curb, it went through a tree, and then hit like a retaining wall, and then back off the curb. But, uh, the rear, it has, it had BC front coilovers on it, but you can see that one laying there on the ground. The front one's pretty much just sheared off at the top hats. The rear ones are still good. It has good big brakes, newer rotors than mine has. The fronts are cross-drilled and slotted, which I probably will end up putting the rotors on my V70R wagon. Uh, the wheels, I kind of like the wheels, but the bad thing is both front ones are completely destroyed. This one isn't as bad as the other one. The other one, pretty much, for how hard it looked like it got hit in the picture, it uh, this wheel actually seems like it survived pretty well. You can see it's it pretty much peeled it, cracked it, bent it. So the good thing about this car is it is the six-speed manual transmission. The interior, it before I got it, it was sitting in the weather, so I really didn't care to seal it up. So the interior isn't that great, but I'm gonna need the manual pedals. I'll need the shifter assembly, and uh, I'll need some new axles. But other than that, everything else looks like it's good to go. I still need to start this thing up, make sure everything is all right on it, and uh, we'll pull it in with the forklift first, put a battery, uh, pop the trunk, put a battery on it, or some jumper cables with the battery, see if she starts see how she sounds i'm pretty sure everything is okay because it just it just got wrecked it doesn't look like the oil pan or anything else was damaged in the wreck
The S60R is now in the lift. It was a pain to get it on the lift because the rear parking brake was stuck. So I kind of had to rock it back and forth. It's probably because it's been sitting so long. Who knows? Got it unstuck, got it on the lift. Now what we're gonna do is pop the hood, check the oil, make sure everything is okay right there. Once that's done, I need to figure out what I do with the key. I think it's somewhere over there. Then I'll connect these jumper cables, that battery over there, try to get it to start. And hopefully, I mean, I bought this car sign unseen, but it did hit a wall, so it was running when it wrecked. So hopefully that theory works out for me and we have a good engine, good tranny, and everything else is good to go. So we could drop this thing out, reseal it, get it all up to par before we put in the V70R. So let's get this thing started. A little wipe. Eh, I mean, that's all right. Now the oil, actually I need that rag again. Oil, come on, be good, be good, be good, be good. Oh yeah, look at that, the oil looks good. It smells like a Volvo. No, I'm not gonna taste it, just kidding. Let's juice this thing up. I wonder if this battery's good. Oh yeah, hell yeah. We got a live one over here. You know, on Volvos, you just, whew, what's going on here? You got this hooked up backwards or what? No, that's strange. That's really strange. Key, oh key, where could you be? Oh, look at that, found it. It even said it didn't have the key and I found it in the, uh, the door sill. That's, I think somebody's trying to take my knob. It wasn't the good kind of. Oh no! Ah! Need another set of jumper cables. She sounds good. Sounds really good. It's pretty awesome that the engine fired right up. I couldn't believe it. This thing, I don't know how long it sat for, but this engine, sounds so so good so now i know the engine's good the tranny's good all i need to do these are pretty simple unbolt the drive shaft that goes to the rear wheels undo the wiring harness which is all up here then i need to disconnect this mount right here i'll pull this bar everything will drop out of the bottom one thing i didn't notice when i bought this car was it has these poly bushings right here which i was going to upgrade those anyway so that's a plus and it has a tranny one down there, so that's a plus. This thing took such a hard hit, it literally ripped the coil out of there. Like, this is the, the piece of the, uh, the actual coil over the top of it. it this is like the, the ram. So, and you can see the little thing goes in there. I'm not exactly sure how that does anything to the valving, but I have the, one of the coils. I could just cut it apart in half and be like, this is what's inside BC coilovers. But now I have another set of brake calipers, so I'll, I wanna paint those. And uh, some people might not like the color I paint them. And then I have a good hood since my car got hailed on. I think this hood is, is like, it has a few scratches right here and there, but I don't think it, I don't think it got damaged at all. So that's a, that's a plus. This color on this car is like a metallic black and it actually looks pretty good. But the rest of the car is, 
I don't know, these, these doors are, for how hard it got hit, or how hard it hit something. It's surprising that this is all the damage there is. And uh, this wheel, it's it's okay. It has some, some damage on it. And I'd have to buy two other ones. So I may just sell these for cheap and uh, just uh, figure something else out because I do have the Pegasus rims on my V70R. And uh, then I have the rear coils. So let's lift this thing up and uh, look underneath it because I haven't actually done that yet. <laughs> Both axles just popped out of the stubs, and uh, that's kind of good, as long as the tranny itself. Oh man, what's this? That might not be good. I'm not sure what that is. It might just be the drain plug, but it kind of looks, it kind of looks like it's smashed in there at a weird angle. Yeah, that might not be good. We might be needing a case on the tranny, but this is what I'm talking about, this thing right here. It's good that I have that. Man, that's, I've no, I didn't know that's how those were. Huh. So we have good coils back here, so I'll just have to get two of those. Hopefully they will sell just two. Have pretty much all the stuff that needs to be disconnected in the front. The ECU is out, the wiring is disconnected from the ECU box, and all the piping, radiator, all the stuff in the front is disconnected. The exhaust, I just disconnected it, and it still had the catalytic converter, which uh, I thought this thing had a tune on it. So it probably doesn't have a tune, and it sounded really, really good for having a cat. It's, it's gonna be, Awesome once the V70R is six speed swapped. I'm really glad this engine was good. If you like these videos, click the subscribe button, throw a comment below, give this video a thumbs up, and as always, see you guys tomorrow.